Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to, to Fabulous Friday, where you never know what you might get, because I'm always doing different things. So today I am actually going to make a cover. I was debating about doing this on camera and I thought, well, we're going to give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. If you're watching this, it means it went well. If you don't see this, well, then you never know it even existed. So um, I have here a very large piece of fabric. This is a really nice damask linen tablecloth that obviously has seen better days. It has holes in it. It has rust stains. It is just, it's a mess. But I'm going to take a piece of it today, and I'm just kind of straightening this out. You can see it has some holes up here as well. They're going to, it's been patched. Somebody darned it at one point, so it has been well loved. Somebody tried to fix it, um, and I don't know where it came from. I found it up in my attic. I know, a weird place for a tablecloth. I think it was being used as a drop cloth or something at one point. Anyway, I'm straightening this out so I can get my piece. What I'm using for my the inside of my cover, this is a simply a brown envelope. It's a 9 by 12 and I have closed it up. There's nothing inside of it. It is just the envelope itself. Uh, I got these at the Dollar Tree. That was a dollar and a quarter for five of them. So I've laid this out now. I want to have about an inch on either side, maybe a little bit more. And because this is so old, it doesn't really hold its shape very much anymore. But let's go ahead and cut Oh, just a little bit around the side. So we're going to do this all the way up to the top. And then I have to stand up because I can't quite do this sitting down. Just gonna stay put. If I had a bigger table, this would be easier, but. Okay. Coming along the side. I learned this technique from Carrie the Crafter. I'll fold that later. Although I have also seen Gail Agostinelli do this, make her covers the same way. So I know that this is actually something that a lot of people do. All right, these are my fabric scissors. They go away. I have a special place for those that are not any... Well, actually, no, I need them yet. I, but I don't keep these near my paper scissors. So the next thing I want to do, however, is... Use my, this is just Fabri-Tac. Um, I think it goes by a couple different names. I want this side to actually be against the fabric. So I'm going to go this way. And just, and I'm not, I don't necessarily need a lot. And I don't need to do, um, I mean, I'll stick a little in the middle, but it's not a lot. And let me take my card here and kind of just make it so that it's not there aren't bumps and whatnot on it. I do have some glops. Okay. And then I'm just going to turn it over and put it down. This is I do a so now you could if you put a little bit more glue on it, you could be at this point done with that kind of thing. Um, once you get this part done, I'm coming up and making a corner, cutting out my edge. I am leaving a little bit. There's probably a little too much there um, because I will be putting metal corners on this, but I do need to be able to fold this over and there's a lot of fabric there. I will be using my sewing machine for this what I started to say before. Now, do I throw these away? Absolutely not. They make good clusters. So I can make some nice fabric clusters or lace clusters out of those. So we'll keep those. Now I'm going to sneeze. Be right back. Okay. i tell you, I have not had hay fever issues in years. And this year, oh, I don't know what is going on, but I have so much hay fever. I sneeze all the time. All right. Now I'm going to, again, I'm just tacking this because I'm going to sew it. But if you were going to, if you wanted to just do this without sewing, 
then use a lot more Fabri-Tac and just cut that in there. Notice it looks, it's off, you know, it's not even. I don't care because nobody's going to see this. This is going to be inside and nobody's going to see this. I will show you here. Let me grab one and I'll show you what one looks like finished. Okay, this is one that I did that is uh, that I sewed. And you can see nobody's going to see the inside. That's for a Christmas journal that will be eventually uh, made. But it's too nice out. I can't think Christmas yet. Although we left our front door open last night and it got cold enough that it tricked our thermometer or, or thermostat and the furnace came on. Oh my glory. We got up this morning and the registers, we have a, sta a register that comes up through a floor register in the bathroom. It really was kind of nice to stand on that floor register. It was very, very warm. But yeah, we're going to have to make sure we close that door from here on in. Okay, again, this is just tacking it down to make sure that it stays put. This part has a nice selvage edge. And I'm brushing it up because I want to make sure that it's flush with the edges. I don't want anything hanging out. Not at this point. Okay. So I hope you're all doing well. Please make sure you're leaving comments down below. I have recently found out that the YouTube algorithm uh, likes it with comments. When they see a lot of engagement, then they tend to take it and put it on lots of people's homepages. So you get more exposure when people comment more. So go ahead and comment down below. What are you working on? Have you tried this kind of cover before? So there we go. That's actually going to be my inside cover. My outside cover, I don't know about this. We're going to give it a shot. I got this. That's one of my pages. Is lacy. And it has a seam in it. I took this off of a blouse that I bought at Goodwill at one point. Oh my God, it was the most ugly thick looking thing you could ever want. Okay, I'm going to come down here to the six. Actually, I want to do it on this side because that's the side I'm going to actually be able to see. So I want to come down here to six inches and I'm going to put a, a little mark for myself at six inches so that I know where the center is. And I'm actually going to make a little bit of a very, very light line. Again, this will not be seen. But that way I know exactly where the center line is because what I want to do is line this up. I figured since I have a seam there, I'm going to stop poking at it. I want to line my seam like that so that when it bends, it bends at the seam. Now, again, normally this isn't an issue because you don't have seams because you don't you're just dealing with a straight flat piece. So let me put my glue along the outside. And again, this is just to kind of tack, the, tack things down so they don't move while I'm doing everything else. So there's my seam. I'm putting it right on the seam. Now you can see that obviously this piece is too big. Um, which is fine because we're going to I'm just get rid of my ruler here before I knock it on the floor. Because now what we're going to do is grab those fabric scissors again and we're going to cut up well, about an inch. Okay. Again, some great lace that will be good in some other part of it. But 
yeah, I this I don't know how much it cost me, and that's a little bit off up here. I am going to level that out just a little bit, especially since it's on the corner. Again, I'm going to keep that. All right, let's cut those corners a little bit so we don't have so much bulk in the corner. There's actually quite a bit of bulk on this, but I think it's going to be all right. This is kind of moving around on me because it's so, it's lace, so it, it doesn't have a lot of firmness to it. There we go. Okay. Let's go over there. All right, I do have, this is a little trick I learned from Gail. And I'm going to put my Fabri-Tac right along here this time. I'm going to bring this up and so I don't get glue all over my fingers. I'm using a very old, obviously well-used spatula. It says heat resist, or it says not heat resistant, yeah. You go once in a hot bowl and you got all this gunk out all over it. This was a crappy little spatula that we got at one point. It was a mistake. You know, I think we, it's just, now I'm using it with glue. And it really works to protect my fingers. I don't mind getting the glue all over my fingers. You know, I then spend quite a bit of time picking it off. But, and I don't want to think about how much of it I might have eaten over the years over the months. No, I have been doing this for a couple of years, haven't I? It'll be two years coming up in November that I have been making junk journals. I am going to tack that down just a little bit more in the center here. Just to keep it in place. There. Got little fuzzies from the lace. So this is, like I said, this is kind of new to try for me to try the lace on it. And it's one of the reasons I said if it doesn't work, I'm not going to be showing you this video. So if you're still watching, it means it worked. Spoiler alert. Okay. That lace is very, very thick in that spot because that's a, that was the bottom seam. So it was all turned up and hemmed, but I think it's going to be okay. It's going to add a little bulk to the bottom of the journal. Maybe I'll stick it at the top. If I stick it at the top, then it's not so bad because a lot of bulk comes at the bottom when you have pockets and tucks and things like that. Okay. So now I have my two pieces. See, when I put them back to back like this, I have a journal cover. Now I could have colored the underside here, but um, I'm actually doing a yellow journal, so that is perfectly fine. Now, if you're going to add any lace, this is the time to add lace. I want to add, my thought is, on the front cover to have another extra little booklet as part of the cover. So I think that that's going to work. But in order to make sure that that behaves itself, let me move you out of the way, I'm actually going to glue you down now. And I'm going to glue it pretty heavily. Sorry, I'm not even on camera. I'm gluing it pretty heavily because I don't want it to pull out. I don't want it to fall out or anything of that sort. Make sure that that's going to bend over all right. That's going to work. Sorry, Dave Dupre. <laughs> Dave, if you're watching this, he's my brother-in-law. We did, my when my daughter was married, she had 
uh, place cards for everybody at their tables, and I was in charge of printing them. A couple of them got offset, so Dave got a new one, and in the meantime, I'm using the one that didn't work as my hinge. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tack these down. Hang on, I want to decide, do I want any more lace? Let me pause for a second. Okay, I am back. The answer is yes, I do want lace. So I have just, I've not actually sewn this in or glued this in yet. I'm just going to cut myself a piece there and I'm going to cut another piece because I want another piece in the back. This is the time if you're going to add pockets, if you're going to add lace to your cover, this is the time to do it. Figure it out and do it now because um, it's just easier. You're going to be sewing it all together. Okay, let me just put my pin back in that. I know that's not on a card, but I had done this one before I did the cards, so I have a few of them. I like the cards better, but some of them have that extra wide. Okay, so now what I'm going to do with my laces, I think this is going to be easier because I have this already on here. I'm going to put my laces on the back. Okay, I want this lace to come this way. I got maybe a little bit more than I need, but that's all right. And I'm just going to put a thin line of glue. Come up. I can get it to come out along here. I don't know why my glue is being so gloppy today. Okay, and then I'm just going to put my piece down here. Press it down with my spatula. I've got a little bit of extra at the top. We'll worry about that in a little bit. Okay, and I want to put this lace going this way. Okay. Come on. I cut that one a little bit shy there, and so I don't have a lot of. Come on. Yeah, there it's glopping on me again. Okay. Am I even in camera? I hope I am. I cut these the same length, so I'm going to have a little bit of extra on both of them. All right. Last thing I need to add, if I'm going to add it, because I have this, but I don't know if I want to use it or not. Let's see if I can get that pin out of there. It's a tiny little pin. Or oh, there's two of them. Okay. There. Do I want to add a belly band along here? I think I do not. I think the answer to that is no. That's not going to go in right now. So let me just, that's a tiny, tiny pin. I must have not have used this yet. So I'm going to put that over there. All right. Let's go ahead, now that I have my lace on there and my flip on there, we're going to go ahead and trim off those little bits down here. Sorry, I know I'm not on camera, but I had to put it where I can see it. Okay, fabric scissors away. And now I'm going to just tack these together. And again, if you are not sewing, then go ahead and use a lot more glue. And then just glue them together. There's nothing that says you absolutely have to sew them. I'm a little worried about sewing this part because that's pretty thick. I have to remember to open that up and glue it that way. Okay, making sure my edges are all together. 
and they are. All right, I will be right back. I'm going to go uh, sew this, and I will be back. I am back, and it is sewn together. I'm just going to cut off my edge, my strings. I know some people leave the strings. I don't like that. To me, that looks messy, and I guess I'm just not that kind of a messy. I am messy, but just not that kind of messy. So it is sewn together, and uh, if you've watched my earlier videos, you know how much I absolutely detest sewing. It is so not my thing. Okay, did I get it close to right? I did. I'm just folding that over now. So I have folded on my seam. My seam is there. And I now have a journal cover. There we go. What I haven't done is put on the corners. Let me grab my corners and I will do that. Okay, I am back. I have my pliers. I have my corners. What I need to grab quickly is a piece of paper towel. Let me just take that towel and fold it a little bit so I have a little bit of space. Now, what is going to happen when I put this on it bends over my lace. I probably should have cut my lace here and not done it. I mean, I still could do that. I could still cut it out. But I kind of, sort of, like the look. So I think at this point I'm going to leave it. Now, what is this for? I put this here over the top part of it. I don't care if this side looks crunched. but I don't want the front part to look crunched. So I'm just going to use my pliers and squeeze that down. Some people put a little bit of glue in there first. I have not really ever found it necessary. Okay, I'm just going to give it another squeeze all the way around just to make sure that we are nice and tight and that that is not going to come off. There we go. One one corner done. Okay, let's do this corner. And that kind of comes a little bit differently. I want to make sure I'm not getting that book page in there. Do I want the book page in there? Maybe I do, and that'll help hold it still. I don't know that I want it to flip, or do I want it to flip? I think I'm going to leave it so that it, it can flip. All right, we'll do that again. Put this here to just kind of protect the front. Make sure that's nice and snug. And then bend that down, and that down, and this down. If you have never put corners on the book, they're really cool. I really like how they look, but it does Kind of makes me feel like I'm handyman, you know, playing, working with my pliers. Okay, so that's what it, the front looks like. Well, see, that didn't come down quite as far as I wanted it to. Let me do that again. I'm going to just make that, hopefully I'm not going to put a thing in, a dent in it. I just want that to be a little bit tighter. Make this part a little bit tighter. Do we need to do the same thing here? It doesn't hurt. A little tighter. A little tighter. Okay. All right, I'm going to put the last two book covers, or last two book corners on. Uh, but there we go. This is the beginning of a, uh, I want to call it a Regency style journal, but it really is more, I guess the current term for it is shabby chic. It obviously needs a lot more work on this. I just wanted to see if it was even going to work, and it looks like it is. So I will have something here, and then I will have this here, and then we'll figure out a closure and all of that later. Right now, we're just going to start this. Okay, make sure you're leaving a comment down below. If you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you click that like button because, again, that's one of the algorithms YouTube looks at. They also look at watch time. Please watch these videos all the way through to the end. 
or just put them on while you're doing your crafting and let them play in the background just to get my watch hours up. Once I hit 3,000 watch hours in a 365-day period, I get to get give you guys some goodies through YouTube, but I can't have to get those watch hours up. I have enough subscribers, although if you want to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. All right, in the meantime, I hope you're having a great day. I'm going to finish off this cover, and then I'm going to work on the signature. Happy Friday. This is Cindy signing off.